And you just get a free shot on him. Don't get greedy, number one thing. If you watch Nelson, you can sleep in two. Gets greedy, too greedy. Just, you gotta stay consistent. Keep your strategies going. Trust in your strategies. Keep calm. That's what you need to pursue. Alright, let's check the chat now. Um, how can you hurt that guy? Just like you saw, it took a million hits to hurt that guy. A million. One billion hits. So it helps to have a... <laughs> Man, he just has a lot of defense. So, it's a very difficult boss. It's not really much you can say. It's just, he'll, he'll murder you thousand different ways so here we have the next area we're not going there uh, and this is for something later in the game I'm going there so what you want to do is you want to drop down here because there you see you can see the item from up here and actually it's multiple items so. I mentioned earlier that this is Drang Lake armor set and the Drang Lake sword and this sword, and this armor set, unfortunately the sword was nerfed, they, they reduced its effectiveness in, a, in an update. I really like the sword, it's on my main character. Even still, it still stuns, and has good range. Um, so now that I got that stuff... Um, what I'm actually going to do, since the enemies are cleared, I'm just going to go back this way. And I'm gonna get the next bonfire. Uh, get the next bonfire. And then I'll talk about the armor set and such. Let's just do this right now. We have tons of souls, tons of souls.
Okay, so you get dropped off here. And, um... By the way, if you like that boss battle, if you like uh, what you're seeing, please follow my channel uh, for more Dark Souls. Um, let's go back to the town. Now we have this bonfire, so we can return here. This is one of the entrances to one of the next areas in the game. There's also another way to get here uh, from a different side. Uh, let's talk about that armor set really quickly. Uh, something that I can advise for beginners, uh, for newer players, and even for advanced players, because I know that people pass by this armor all the time. Um, the Drang Lake armor is quite amazing. Uh, it just... You go from 74 physical defense to 195. And that's a lot for this game. So you, you're gonna want to pick this up because in addition to that you're getting what are you getting now um, a small bump in the elemental protections magic fire lightning dark and you also have a small amount of uh, poison resist and bleed resist so really really useful stuff and obviously you're gonna use you got the whole set so you're getting going from 31 to 83 on the gauntlets and you're going from 55 to 102 on the leggings now in the bottom right corner of the screen the percentage um, the problem with being too heavy you don't want to be this heavy because you have a slow roll and you never want to slow roll in this game if you're a newer player. That's uh, one piece of advice that I would give. Um, so if I drop that number down, you'll see I get my roll back. So what you want to do is you want to upgrade your character so that you can get your percentage, your weight, uh, total weight. It's 38.9 out of 49. Yeah, so we want to get below 70%. So Is that here to see light? Um, let's However, give, let's give the shard upgrade. If you're below 70% on your weight, uh, you won't slow. You'll have a faster roll. And it, actually the lighter you are, the better your roll is, but as long as you have a fast roll, you're fine. In my opinion. I think this these you're starting to get into some opinion-based things. Some people will tell you, oh, you have to be below a certain percentage, or, you know. So we're going to bump up our vitality. Take a look. Now we're at 67, so we have a little bit of headroom. So now you can see I got good armor and I got a fast roll. Very cool. Drang Lake Shield, really good shield. It does weigh more, you see my percentage goes up, but it has 100% physical defense, so I recommend using that if you can, if you want to make a build with that. Just stick with my little one here. And this actually has 90 physical, this one we got earlier, and it's still lightweight, so that one you can, I, I definitely recommend you use the leather shield. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, so the next area that we got... The Lost Bastille. That, you could go from there. Um, but the other way you could go next is... This way. And this way, um, although the enemies are kind of tough, they're predictable, and the bosses are not so tough either. So this is a good way to go. You, you're going to want to get the uh, souls from this area, because the lost Bastille, the Bastille, I mean, is uh, it's pretty difficult.
flame. Okay, you could just avoid this first guy and go right for the bonfire. Light it up. He's coming! You can actually sit down and reset reset him before he even bothers you. So you don't have to fight that guy, you get a free bonfire. Um, and he'll be waiting for you there. <laughs> So we can actually jump back to town and come back here instantly. So it's really good to get that bonfire no matter what level you're at. Very simple. So what do you guys think? I hope people are enjoying the How to Play Dark Souls series that I've come up with. Um, I'll be touching more on it. I'll be returning with part two and doing more. Let me, uh... <laughs> I have, uh, let's see, uh, program. Okay. Yeah, so that's all I got for today. Today. Oh, that's really all I have for today. Um, I'm gonna return back. Um, I want to thank Prime Killers for getting Don't Starve uh, on Steam for me. Uh, I'll be streaming that game, and I'll be doing part two of the How to Play Dark Souls 2 series. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please follow me. Uh, make sure to like me on Facebook, follow my Twitter. And I'll be back next time. Thank you for watching. Join me next time. There's my stuff right there. I love this game. And I'll be I'll try to uh, put it up on YouTube if you missed anything as well. So you can go back and review.